This is a quick tutorial on how to paint the wooden planks from mold number 225. Basically what I'm going to do is paint all the planks separately, then glue them on the side of the house. Here's an example of a side of a house uh, using the stucco panel mold. And if you go ahead and glue these planks onto here, and then try to paint it, you're going to have to paint each plank separately, which takes forever. My suggestion is to paint all of these planks separately, paint the stucco wall panel, and then after that's finished, glue the painted planks onto the side and you'll have a nice clean paint job. Now I would suggest that you sort the pieces before you start. That way you can stick down all the three inch pieces, then the two inch pieces and so on. And after they're painted, it's much easier to resort them into piles because you have all the same links together in the same spot. Now the easiest way to paint these is to stick them down onto a piece of cardboard. I'm going to use cheap permanent double-sided tape for this. So it, make sure that it's permanent, not temporary. And get the cheap stuff because if you get the good stuff, uh, the expensive stuff like the Scotch double-sided permanent tape, it's only a half inch wide. I recommend the cheap stuff that you get at Walmart because it's three quarter inches wide, it gives you more sticking area, and it's also cheaper. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a strip down. So measure out a strip that goes all the way across your cardboard. And let's see. Take and uh, stick it down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and stack our planks in it. Now before you stick them down, you want to check the back of your planks. Most of these planks are going to be just fine. You know, if the back is nice and flat, you can just stick them right down. If there's any extra flash that's on the edge, and I don't know if you can see on here, the bottom edge might have a little bit of a rough edge. Sometimes if it's too rough or if it sticks out too much, you can just take your fingernails and just sort of scratch that edge off of there so it cleans it up pretty nice. Basically you're going to take it and stick it down and just a light pressure sticking it down. If you really push hard what you're going to do is break that plank in the middle. So push it just enough to stick it down. Now I suggest that you check the back of your planks. If the planks are concave on the back you're going to have trouble sticking them down because there's no flat surface to stick to the tape. So I don't know if you can see on this one it's maybe slightly concave if I can get the light just right on it. If it is concave, stick down a piece of sandpaper, fine sandpaper to your tabletop, and what you do is just a couple swipes on the sandpaper is good enough, you know, wipe off any uh, dust that's on the back, and then just take and gently put your planks down. When you stick the planks down, I'd suggest about a quarter inch between them. You can go a little bit closer than that if you want, but uh, just about, you know, that far apart. And then go down, you know, check the back, if it's concave, you might sand it a little bit and then just stick it down. If you look at the back and you go, oh, that one looks good, just stick it down, take the next one, look at the back, stick it down, and it's going to go pretty quick. Before you know it, you're going to have a lot of them stuck down onto the cardboard. Now, before you go too far, you want to make sure that these planks are stuck down good. I suggest taking a three-quarter inch wide soft bristle brush, the same brush you're going to dry brush with, and go ahead and brush back and forth over these planks and make sure they stay down. Looks like this one's wiggling a little bit. Might push it down a little bit better. But if they don't come up, then you know you can dry brush it without a problem. If for some reason you brush over your planks and they start coming off, that's going to give you a problem later on. Now also be sure to check your windows. If you've got extra flash on, you'll want to sand that off. So if I put this window up really close to the camera, you can see that between the panes there's a little bit of extra plaster sort of there. And that'll show up when you paint it. To clean that off, the easiest way is just put it on the sandpaper and uh, sand it just a little bit. And uh, that'll clean that flash right up off of there. So your windows, will, panes will be nice and clean. Now you want to spray paint this outside. I'm out here on the, the porch roof here. I'm going to spray paint these. You're probably going to have a lot more planks than these on several pieces of cardboard, but this is just a sample for the video. You're going to spray paint this with flat black spray paint. Just cheap spray paint is fine. I'm putting a rubber glove on my left hand so I don't get paint all over my left hand. And it's easier to do it this way because if your can starts getting empty, you can just kind of hold this straight up like this and spray it and you'll get all the paint out of your can. Just hit it from all four sides. What I'm going to do is just kind of go back and forth like this. And then when you get one side done, you're going to turn it around 
and you can see that they're still white on the other side here so spray paint this side of the planks all the way back and be sure that you get down into the uh, little decorative elements here now also check the edges of your plank because the edges right here are also going to be white so you want to be sure to hit all of the ends of your planks as well so hit it from this side turn it around and you notice these edges are white also so you're going to spray paint those let it dry outside so all the fumes go outside and once it's dry we'll move on to the next step now we're going to dry brush one color onto these planks and the planks will be finished that color is the medium earth tone color it's kind of a pumpkin pie color now i'm going to be using house paint that i had mixed at walmart house paint is going to be just a little bit too thick for this job so in other words if you actually pour this out you see it's quarter like heavy cream it's actually even a little bit thicker than heavy cream would be but uh, I'm going to thin it down a little bit and this is my thinned down version it's not too much thinner but it pours probably a little more like milk pours okay now I've got a three quarter inch wide soft bristle brush which I'm going to use a dry brush with what I'm going to do is I've got a paper towel folded over here on the side I'm going to dip this thing in the paint and I am going to wipe most of that paint off uh, dip a little bit more in the paint wipe most of this paint off and you want to do it so there's almost nothing left in the brush almost absolutely nothing left in the brush for these planks in my opinion the best result you'll get when you have almost no paint on it what you want is a really super thin coat of paint lots and lots and lots of layers of really super thin coats of paint what that will do this black will transmute through the pumpkin pie color and it will leave you with a nice dark oak color, a really nice dark oak color. If you get in a hurry and you have too much paint on your brush or it's too thick, you'll paint over it and you'll get pumpkin pie colored planks. That's not what I want. For the best result, get almost all of the paint out of here. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry brush over this. Let's see if I can get this in the, uh, in the uh, video here. I'm going to dry brush back and forth very lightly back and forth very lightly on these planks. I'm just going to go real light, real light, real light. And you know, you can sort of go back and forth at an angle. And if you go back and forth a little bit on this and you're painting and you're painting along and it's like, man, nothing is happening here. That's exactly what you want. You want nothing to happen the first 10 strokes. You don't want to see anything on these planks during the first few strokes. Now, if you can see, these are starting to pop out just a little bit. I can see, and, and personally, I would work on one small section on this, get this right, and then work on the next small section. Don't try to do like the whole thing. I mean, right now, I'm kind of brushing over the whole thing just to get the excess paint off. Because after you first take your paint off the paper towel, you're still going to have too much paint in your brush. I suggest going over the whole thing until you're pretty sure that, you know, there's not too much left. Now, now I think my brush is about perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to start using a little bit more pressure. What I'm doing is I'm going to jam and pull, jam and pull. You're almost, you're not just jamming it, but you're kind of jam, kind of using a jamming stroke with it. Okay, now this is starting to... Uh, relay the color a little bit more don't use too much pressure because like you see right here I hit this just a little bit too much I push down too hard and there's wet paint back down deep in the bristles that will end up kind of messing things up for you so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over and over and over these planks let me see if I can get these in the camera and sort of show you uh, what those planks look like up close you can see that we've got uh, you know kind of a nice wooden texture and it's not really a pumpkin pie color it's more of a dark oak color now as soon as you redip your brush into the paint and put it back onto the paper towel try to get almost all of it off and when you think you've got almost all of it off that's the dangerous point in other words that's the point that you do not want to push hard at all you want to really really lightly go over the planks again really really lightly go over them because if you go too hard, you're going to have solid pumpkin pie colored planks. And that, that really doesn't show all of the grain and texture and the detail that you've got in these planks. Now, when doing a lot of planks, you're going to have multiple uh, 
cards of these planks that you're doing here. My suggestion is to get one that's painted up really nice the way you like it and use that as a guide for the other ones. Because I'm painting up this one and I want to know if the planks sort of match what I've got. So if I keep this one as my guide, I will go ahead and paint this and keep painting and keep doing until it compares and looks the same as the other one. This one looks like it needs a little more paint than what I had here. But once it matches up, then I know that all the planks on my whole model will pretty much be the same color. Once the planks are completely painted and dry, you can go ahead and remove them from the cardboard. These actually stick pretty good. Uh, and since we sorted them out as we stuck them down, also as you peel them off the tape, you can sort of uh, resort them again. Sometimes you can grab this piece of tape and then just pull this whole strip of tape up and then it's a little bit easier to just simply remove all of these planks from it. Here I've got a bunch of three inch planks. I'll remove them and put them in a pile.